Hello, this is laurelelaine.com. I'm here in Madison, Wisconsin, in my mom's garden. She's done so much wonderful work out here. It just blows me away in a few short years what she's been able to do out here. From Easter lilies, you know, the ones you get at Easter and then you throw them out. On normal lilies, on calla lilies, they just finished blooming. Uh, Coreopsis and Monarda, Bee Balm and Echinacea, Coneflower. This is dill that's going to seed. I have kale in my hands that I'm picking. She's got cucumbers. She's done these different raised bed boxes over the years. Uh, that's okra, this beautiful red stalked plant. And her tomatoes. About to get tomatoes. And this is broccoli and some purple cabbage. And it's about mid-July. There's sage. I believe that's uh, calendula, calendula, as is common folks say. Uh, oregano. And then this is where all the kale was growing. You just get it right down here by the stalk. And oh, this kale's so great in smoothies. And she's got a strawberry pot. I just gave her that pot. And she just does wonders with it. Thyme, more strawberries down here. So I'll just do a real quick garden tour, encouraging you, whatever size little garden, even if you just have a, a pot. These are just some annual flowers here. Uh, more cucumbers. So whatever kind of little garden you can do, I swear it will enhance your life and make you a happier, healthier person. Then she had sweet peas, or snap peas, growing all um, earlier, more in the spring, but even when it's still flowering. There's milkweed, love it, which used to be construed as a weed, but it actually's got one of the smelliest good flowers out there. Oh, I love milkweed. And the bees love it. Some other weird red bug, I don't know. And then she had lettuce here, which she actually let go to seed, and then the lettuce reseeds itself. And then she's got a whole box of carrots, and then she's able to add sand and looser soil, so those carrots are doing awesome. I don't know if you kind of see, like, each individual carrot is going to be in there. And then she used to have chickens over here, but now she doesn't have chickens in her coop because she's just kind of taking a year off from them. They're sort of a lot of work, oh my goodness. And then more kale that just reseeds itself, this red Russian kale. So cool. And then she did beans up the fence here. And this is Kalaloo, which is a Jamaican green that she brings back from Jamaica. Because she lives in Jamaica for part of the year. Because she's awesome. Love my mom. And uh, then she's got uh, greens. Uh, this is like a type of cabbage, bok choy, kind of Chinese uh, cabbage, they call it. Then these raspberries have taken off, replete with the zebra grass in the middle of it. Um, these raspberries are from a friend of mine, like some Scottish variety. Oh my gosh, they are so good. I wish I could give you some to eat. I would totally share them with you. Or, I mean, my mom would have me share them with you. I guess they're not technically mine. Oh my god. Thank you, Mom. Oh, and they're even like hiding. Hiding in there. And then she's got her sunflowers. So I think it's quite. Oh, and it's starting to rain a little bit. That's so awesome. It's been so hot here the last few days in Wisconsin. Um, so then her sunflowers have acted almost like a little bit of a shade barrier for some of her stuff. Otherwise, it would just get so fried and so dried out. So quickly, so even underneath the sunflowers, wow, they're so cute! Look at her the sunflowers! And she's got all her zucchinis underneath it, and strawberries, and tomatoes, more going that just sort of volunteered because these are heirloom varieties. Oh, look at she's gonna have one soon! She's gonna have tons soon. We've been eating cucumbers out of the garden, and then she's got cucumbers running along here, um, other cabbages, and then more in the box here. 
and some broccoli and cabbage. And then these were the cucumbers that we're eating off of today. We just had such a good one. It was so good and with a coleslaw cabbage salad. Green onions. Oh, I love this wild purslane. Some basil. Um, this purslane has got more omega-3s than even flax seed. I'll show you a better patch of it in a minute. So just really what you can do in a small space in the city and she didn't get to spend a ton, a ton of time on it because she's a busy woman gardening for other people too. So my mom's just amazing. And then I love, I'm gonna expose it against kind of my dad's more traditional style garden. You know, my mom's into more like the permaculture kind of mixing things up and doing things in, in these guilds, like in, and she hasn't even quite, I mean, she's got so many great ideas and things to come. This is this wild purslane. I was telling you, it's almost like a succulent. So good in smoothies or salads and just loaded with omega-3s, um, essential fatty acids. Yeah, like my dad's garden's a lot more um, in a straight line. It's a square, it's a plot, and that's that. And then um, my mom's is a more free-flowing, and it definitely fits their personality types. Both incredible gardeners, so blessed for them. And then my mom's even gotten her neighbor on board with, she's got all this wonderful bee balm, Monarda, that just attracts pollinators. So actually having flowers is wonderful, even with your vegetables. You kind of like need both, and then it's just so beautiful. So thanks for sharing my mom's garden. Oh, and the mint, I always eat tons of this mint. It just grows like crazy out here. Thank you, mint plant. Mm, it's gonna be so good. Oh, it smells so good. It's on my um, trip, so even when you're traveling, you can pack a little cooler and take some greens with you. I even take a blender with me, and I'm gonna be making smoothies as I go with my kale and with my uh, some spirulina. <laughs> so even traveling, you can you can be healthy. And I love my mom's garden. I'm gonna miss it so much. My mom's just an artist out here. Everything she touches is beautiful. The Liatris, um, Black Eyed Susan, Rebecca, just in a few years. She just, every year, it's just gotten better and better. And then she does the cutest little areas. I just love her place. So thanks all, enjoy your gardens too. And even if you just have a single pot with a plant in it, that's awesome, that's phenomenal. The greenness in your life is so key to health and longevity and peace and tranquility and harmony and balance and all that good stuff. So thanks for watching laurelelane.com and I'll see you real soon. So love you all. Buddha says garden and be happy. <laughs> and eat kale. Mm. It's so good. It's like, I always call it vegan meat. <laughs> More protein than a steak per ounce. Okay, love you all. See you real soon.